Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you a review of the new Wet n Wild Rebel Rose Collection, a tutorial on how I got this look using pretty much every product in this collection. Swatches of all the eyeshadow palettes, lip swatches, and going through all the skincare products as well. So if you guys want to know all my thoughts on the new Wet n Wild Rebel Rose Collection, then just keep on watching. I'm gonna get started with some of the skincare products and we're gonna start off with the new rose toner. This is $7.99 and it comes in this really pretty bottle. Um, right now I'm actually loving the primer water spray that is also a rose spray and that one's a little bit cheaper and I sprayed them compared to each other and I find that the primer water spray is just like a bit more kind of like um, Mac Fix Plus whereas this toner is a little bit more hydrating and it feels more like a skincare product and that actually does feel more like a makeup setting spray but this is awesome like the packaging alone for $7.99 is so pretty and it actually I sprayed that really close to myself but it actually feels so luxurious the smell is exactly like my fresh rose water um, toner which I think is like 50 or 60 dollars like it smells very much like rose petals and not like fake flowers or anything so next up I'm gonna go in with the rose primer serum this is also $7.99 of course it's super reminiscent of the um, first Sally unicorn drops all of their products I've never used any of those drops because they're like really pricey <laughs> but this is $7.99 and it's also um, like a water-based product so even though it looks like it's gonna be like an oil it's actually more of like a really lightweight hydrating serum. So this is what the dropper looks like. I guess I'll have like a little Instagram moment because I've never been able to do this in my life. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it actually has like a little bit of tackiness to it. It reminds me of my um, Smashbox Primerizer where it's really hydrating, but it has a little bit of tackiness. That way that your foundation can stay really nicely on it but it doesn't feel oily, so it's a really nice base. So I'm also gonna show you guys a couple lip products that are new to the collection before I put on foundation. This is the Perfect Pout Lip Scrub. This is a rose lip scrub. I'm not gonna apply it because you guys know what lip scrub <laughs> looks like, but it's just like a sugar um, lip scrub, and it has like a little bit of a rosy scent. I actually prefer the lip scrub from Wet n Wild that I have that is like a watermelon scent that I got back in the spring compared to this one. But if you do like lip scrubs, this one is $3.99. So super affordable, it works for sure. And then this is the Jelly Balm. It looks basically black and then it turns into um, like a light pink tint. So I'm gonna apply this for now before I show you guys like all of the other lip products later. It basically just looks like I put on chapstick. It gives you a little bit of like a rosy, tint really subtle but it's actually like a hydrating lip product and this one is $3.99 um so later i'll show you guys the actual lip products but i'm just gonna keep this on while i do my makeup so i'm gonna actually go in with the um photo focus stick foundation i have been really liking this i talked about this in my last wet and wild video which was like a week ago they've come out with like a bunch of collections <laughs> since then but the reason that i'm going to be putting on foundation is because they actually have a new oil this is the Rose Multi-Use Oil. So I've applied this on my face on its own, but I actually wanted to apply it with foundation today because I used to use oils and stick foundations all the time, like two or three years ago. I used to do that instead of liquid foundations like every single day. So I wanted to try this out um, with my foundation because when I applied it on its own, it definitely wasn't like greasy. It was just like more hydrating. So this oil is $7.99 and I was really excited about this because of the packaging. It has like little rose petals inside for the price like you would think this is like 60 bucks because this is just like really luxury packaging it's so pretty and it actually does smell like roses as well it has like a really nice real flower scent that just feels very luxurious and smells very luxurious i was really excited about um especially the skincare product so i'm just going to take about two drops of oil onto my stick foundation and then just apply that all over my face. It just helps your stick foundation glide on and spread out really easily. This lip tint that I'm wearing it looks so pink. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing my lips this color, but I feel like um, a lot of K-beauty products 
have similar lip balm products like this, like lip tint products. And then it actually makes it so my foundation blends out like twice as quickly when I use the oil, but it doesn't actually make my skin look oily. So that's why I always used to love the combination of oils and stick foundations. I need to get into this routine with this Wet n Wild stick foundation because I've been wearing it a lot on its own but it does take a little bit longer to blend compared to a lot of liquid foundations, but like you guys just saw how quickly that just blended out. And then I wear the shade Buff Beige and this Wet n Wild Stick Foundation. All right, so my face is all set and I took off the lip balm as well because I thought that the bright pink would really throw me off as I was putting on eyeshadow. Um, but we have three eyeshadow quads here. These are all $4.99. These are so pretty. I'm gonna swatch them off for you guys because they are all like really exciting on their own. Like I'm probably gonna use all three of them all together. That's how I've been playing with these palettes. Um, the one thing is they are like all darker shades. So there's not too many like lighter transition shades in these palettes. So that's why I wanna mix them up as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch everything for you guys. So the first one is House of Thorns. It has this really pretty green shade and this is very pigmented and I just really like shades like this. It almost has like a black <laughs> look to it depending on how you pair it. Then it has a copper shade. These all swatch beautifully and apply beautifully as well. A burgundy matte shade. And then lastly, this was the only one I haven't um, tried yet, the matte black shade. So that is House of Thorns. This quad is so pretty. Those are all of like the darker tones that I love. So next, this is a quad in Secret Garden Rendezvous. And this has some more purpley tones. Has also like this gorgeous champagne shade. It's also a bit more cool tones. So you get like this taupey brown color. It's kind of like a weird color. I'm probably going to use that as a transition shade, but it's definitely not like my favorite um, shade ever and then you get a purple and a burgundy reddish tone as well so that is secret garden rendezvous definitely more of the cool tone um, palettes out of all of the three so lastly bed of roses has more of the rose tone shades i'm probably gonna apply this shade on my lid today this is one of my favorites in the whole palette then we have more of a pink tone more of like a cranberry color there a deep purple shade and also a deep burgundy shade all the palettes have like two mattes and two shimmers so this is more of like that reddish toned palette so i really like all three palettes probably the one that i like the least is secret rendezvous just because it's more cool tone but all of the colors are like interesting in all of the palettes so i'm just gonna wipe off these swatches real quick and then um, probably play with all of them. I think I would definitely want to use mostly this palette in this shade on my lid. So I'm going to start off with the taupe shade in Secret Garden Rendezvous. Just a little bit to get a light brown in my crease, but it is more cool tone and I um, do plan on just going in with more of the burgundy shades. Just want a little bit of a base. Next I'm layering on this burgundy tone in the same Palette. This one is the Secret Garden Rendezvous palette. And once that mixes with that taupey shade, kind of turns into a little bit of a purple shade, which is nice because I think I'm going to apply the purple shades in my outer corner too. So I'm going to take this purple shade in the Bed of Roses palette. And oh, my brush is a little bit wet. I need a different brush. I just washed all my brushes last night for this video because I was playing with all these palettes and they all got super, super dirty, like covered in like purple shades. So I actually have two of the same brushes and this one is not wet. And I'm going to just layer it onto my outer corner. So I'm also gonna take the tiniest bit of this burgundy shade with this eyeshadow brush. This is one of their new brushes. This is $7.99 and this brush is so cute and so completely impractical like I wouldn't normally it's so flimsy I feel like I'm holding like a straw like a coffee stirrer straw um so I'm just using it to show you guys but I'm probably never gonna use this brush again <laughs> so this is like one of those things that you just 
have on your vanity. So I'm gonna apply this pink shimmer shade in the Bed of Roses palette. I'm just using a wet brush. I actually just wet my brush with the rose toner. So hopefully that works out okay. Usually any kind of setting spray works, but I've applied this shadow on my lid before and it's really, really pretty. It's like a gorgeous foiled pink shade. So I'm gonna go back into the Secret Garden Rendezvous palette. I'm using this purple shade on like a flat packing brush. Just wanna pack it onto my outer corner just to really emphasize a deeper purple. So I also just applied a purple gel liner in my waterline. I use this purple liner from Smashbox. They make really good eyeliners. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this taupey shade just a tiny bit because I don't want it to look gray. But just to give a little bit of depth under my eyes. So I'm going to apply lashes in a second, but before I do that, I want to show you guys their new cream blush. This is in Rose and Peace. This is $4.99. It's black and then it turns into like a rose berry color. And then this is their blush brush. I've already used it. You can see how like intense this blush turns out to be. Um, and this one is $7.99. And this is actually a better brush compared to the eyeshadow brush because when I'm doing eyeshadow and using eyeshadow brushes, it's like super, super specific. But with a blush brush, you can just like go like this and you're done. So I do like this brush. This is super, super cute. Um, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of this, but it's not my favorite product. I'm just applying it to show you guys. But let me actually swatch it first. So it's black and it has like little glitter chunks. And then when you swatch it, you can still see some of the black shade. And then once you rub it out it turns completely into a berry color and none of that like black residue is left over. It's more of like a cheek stain product, which is not usually like the kind of products I go for. I feel like this is probably similar to like a Glossier Cloud Paint maybe. I've never tried that, so I might be lying, but that's what it reminds me of is just like a cheek stain product. So I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit. I don't want to because, okay, that's enough. <laughs> You can see it's like super intense. I might not even have to like buff that out a little bit. Yeah, you can get like so heavy so quickly with this. And just like blend that a little bit more. I don't like a lot of color on my cheeks and I don't like cream on my cheeks. But there you guys can see it's like way more subtle once I blend it out for sure. All right, so eyes are finally done. I am just gonna take a little bit of this light champagne shade from the Secret Garden Rendezvous palette. Just. Finish off my inner corner with this shade. I do want to build it up a little bit so it is like pretty intense. And then lastly, as part of the collection, there are four new liquid lipsticks, two mattes, and two of their high shine liquid lipstick formula. These are the two matte shades. I'm not going to open them because I don't think I'll ever wear these shades. But basically a um, deeper like red burgundy shade and then a darker like cool tone purple. This is actually kind of a purpley burgundy shade. But those are the two matte shades for $4.99. Um, I am more interested in the high shine formula. I have been liking this formula a lot. I think I'm going to go with this shade. This is called Petal Poison, more like a pink tone. Let me go ahead and swatch both of these on my lips. I'll start off with a purple one for more of like a monochromatic look. This is the shade Bud Romance. I love wet and wild names because at first glance, I thought it said Bad Romance, but they always do like puns and it's so cute. So this is like a grayish purple shade. Okay, so I actually thought this was gonna actually look a little bit too like over the top, like too much purple going on, but I actually really like that. It reminds me of, I think it's ColourPop Dopey. It's an ultra satin lip from ColourPop. It's also like a cool tone purpley shade. I might actually keep this on. Let me swatch the other shade and show you guys, but this is actually really cute. I would totally wear this shade on its own as well. Like it doesn't look over the top or like, I thought it might look like too clownish, like too much of a Barney situation going on with all the purple, but I actually think it looks cute. So I'm gonna take this off and maybe I'll go back to that color depending on how the pink shade looks with this eye look. So this is gonna be the shade Petal Poison. This reminds me a little bit of like Dosa Color Stone, but maybe more pink. And these also last for a while on your lips, especially for a glossy product, you're gonna have a couple hours of wear. Ooh, I think I like both. I got a Barbie vibe going on now. 
maybe it's too much of a Barbie vibe. But I'm definitely gonna wear this color on its own because it's not so pink that it's like too dramatic. Like both of these colors are super wearable. But I'm gonna switch back to the purple shade and I like that monochromatic look. So I'm gonna stick with that one. All right, so this is the completed look. I'm really excited about it because I haven't done like a monochromatic look, a purple look, a cool down look in a really long time. Um, but I'm really excited about this collection. This collection just like came out of nowhere. I just reviewed so many new um, Wet n Wild products like just a week ago and now they have like a whole another collection but it is really really awesome there's very few products um that i mentioned today that i wouldn't recommend i don't like the cream blush um i normally don't anyways but if you do like cream blushes maybe you like it if you like berry toned blushes maybe you'll like it but i'm not gonna wear it the eyeshadow brush is like the only other thing that I wouldn't use from this collection. I don't like the matte um, liquid lipstick shades and the formula is not my favorite. I do like it, but I like other things better. So I didn't want to wear those, but the shiny liquid lipsticks, I have been really, really liking that formula. So if you guys are interested in it, I definitely think it's worth it. The both shades that I showed you guys, I really like, I'm gonna wear them both. They're actually like a lot more wearable than I thought they would be. Like the purple shade I'm wearing, Bud Romance, I'm totally gonna wear this like even with just like really natural makeup I think it would look really pretty and also this is petal poison the more pink tone shade and then all of the eyeshadow quads in this collection are gorgeous swatch beautifully apply beautifully really pigmented really easy to blend I have tried wet and wild shadows in the past that were way different formulas and these are awesome highly recommend all these i didn't actually um use i didn't use any of the shades from this one house of thorns i should probably do like an instagram tutorial with this one because this one's really gorgeous as well but just depending on what shades you like um i recommend all of them they're all really great quality the mattes and shimmers in all of the palettes um, and then all of the skincare products are awesome as well my favorite for sure is the rose water toner I guarantee in a couple months you guys will see this in an empties video because this feels amazing on your skin and it feels like it's way more than $7.99 for sure. I was really excited about that. I'll definitely keep using both of these as well, the oil and the primer serum. The primer serum probably will take me forever to go through just because I prefer like just regular pump primer. It's gonna save me 20 seconds of like unscrewing this and trying not to get messy, but like the actual formula is nice. It's not like, um, gimmicky like the packaging seems like more of a shimmery packaging or um, product but it actually does feel really nice and hydrating on your skin it doesn't feel sticky or oily and the oil is also pretty lightweight as well so lots of really great products in this collection we also have the lip scrub and that's just like to me I don't get excited about lip scrubs but if you like lip scrubs it's $3.99 but that's everything in this collection this is actually a pretty awesome collection um, it feels really high end. There's a lot of great products in here. But that's going to be everything for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.